So, alcohol. How was your weekend? Yeah, it's the same as usual, you know? It's like, one day you're the most popular guy in the world, everybody loves you, and the next day they can't stand the sight of you. You feel like you're being used. Yeah, of course. Because like a week later, you know, they get some bad news or they've had a really tough time at work and they call you up, they're like, oh, hey, alcohol. How's it going, man? You want to meet up again this weekend? <sighs> I'm just so pathetic, I say, yeah. But you feel like people are always blaming you. All the time. My friends are like, I didn't break that window. Alcohol did. I didn't soil myself at the office Christmas party. Alcohol did. I would never draw a smiley face and garlic sauce on the bus stop. Alcohol would. And do you have friends that you could call and talk to? Oh, we used to be Kevin. Kevin. Oh, we did everything together. We used to meet up every day, all day long. But he hasn't spoken to me in years, ever since I cost him his job and his family. We'll come back to Kevin. There's people out there who hate me. I mean, they have literally formed hate groups against me. They meet up once a week and they talk about how great their life is and the alcohol isn't in it anymore. And I can't even go to defend myself because they won't even let me in the door. People are conspiring against you. It's not just people, you know. It's the government, too. The government? Oh, yeah. Every time I go out in public, I have to cover up. Plus, I get taxed more than anyone else. And why is it that I can't operate heavy machinery, you know? What is this, Prohibition America? So you're feeling rejected. People won't even let me go near their kids. Uh-huh. How do you think that makes someone feel? I'm not a bad guy. 200 years ago when people didn't have clean water, who was there, huh? Yeah, if it wasn't for me, loads of couples would never even have gotten together. And they know that's true. I'll call it. Sounds to me like you're a depressant. What? I prescribed you some pills. Take one each morning with a glass of cold water. <laughs> What's wrong? It says make sure you avoid alcohol. Doomed up. Hi, we're Foil Arms and Hog. We have a new video every Thursday. How does it make you feel? Oh, it puts me under an awful lot of pressure. Very pressure. stressed about that. And are you touring at the moment? Yeah, yeah. We got uh, three dates in Dublin next week across the Easter weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ah, good Friday. First time ever. I'll be allowed in Vicar Street, so yeah. maybe things are turning around for me, you know? Because then it's off to the UK. Oh. Yeah, yeah, loads of dates there. Exeter, Durham, massive one in London, Chester, Manchester, Birmingham. We've already done Glasgow. Excuse me, I've been waiting outside for my session for hours. This, this man is, is taking up all their time. Excuse Barry, Thank we've you. talked about this. I need help. <laughs> I need help. Hey, no I violence. Need, I need help. No, ask me how I feel. <laughs> oh, no, I've been struck <laughs> off. I feel like I've been jumped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs>